My name's Kevin DeMackey, CEO at the Gurulosity Brand Management Institute. I'm a brand management trainer and consultant to leading consumer goods companies such as Kimberly Clark, Procter & Gamble, Kraft Heinz, Gorilla Brands, and Nestle. Today we're going to learn how to use strategic questions to organize your landscape analysis. If you remember from some of our earlier videos, some of the main issues when we're writing a landscape analysis are that we have collections of random information. It's one of the most common things I see in the work that a lot of consumer brands are doing and that a lot of brand managers are doing. We collect a lot of different information to create a landscape document or do some sort of strategic assessment, but it really becomes a, a collection of random information as opposed to information with a point or cleverly curated or smartly kind of chosen information. What it really means is that your landscape assessment could have a lack of purpose or a lack of direction, a sense of direction to it. And we really need that when we're gonna go to a senior audience and tell our story. So in order to address these issues, what we really wanna do is frame sections of the landscape. So section framing. That's going to result in more pointed and meaningful takeaways, more memorable takeaways for your audience. And one way to do this is to use strategic questions to help frame and set up your landscape analysis. You can also use these questions as a filter for editing information down to only the most important takeaways so that people remember what you want them to. So today I'm going to give you an example of how to do that. The four questions you see here in purple are example questions you could use to structure a landscape analysis. These may not be the exact questions you need to use. You might have more questions than these that you want to use, but I think the point is using questions like these to help frame sections of your landscape and give them a little bit more of a point as opposed to maybe being a little more random with what you include. So for example, number one on the list, what category conventions could we break? Now, you could just create a section of category information and put lots of statistics in there um, and you know stats that are useful for people or that might be interesting information, but you may not have a point to that section. And using a question like this or framing it in this way gives you a point that now you need to answer and organize that information in a way that answers that question for people. So it's a little bit more pointed. What category conventions could we break? Another example, number two on the list, how might we stand out amongst competition? So again, it's very common to have a section on the competition in a landscape assessment, but as opposed to just listing information on competitors or doing grid comparison grids uh, of your competitive work, think about a question like this. How might we actually stand out in the competitive set? Now you have a different kind of takeaway. You need to edit to different uh, kinds of information that make it a little bit more pointed. Third example on the list, instead of just having a consumer section in your landscape assessment, ask this question. Are there unmet consumer needs that we can answer or capitalize on or you know, serve needs better for consumers? And so when asked in this way, that forces you again to take all the consumer information you have, but now whittle it down to the most important things that get at unmet needs that are opportunities for your business or for your brand. And the last example on here, number four, what is the profit potential of this opportunity? So instead of having a section on just opportunity size, you can now tailor that information in a way that tells a story about the potential of the project that you're working on. So four examples, again, not all inclusive. These may not be all of the questions um, that you'll ever need to organize your landscape assessment, but they serve as good examples and they're a way to help you do. The most important thing you can do in the deck that you're writing is focus. So let's focus on the things that are most important for the audience that we have in mind and for those senior stakeholders that we're eventually gonna be presenting to. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like more information on our brand management training and development programs, check out the links in the description below.